Hello everyone, Zanger Nismer here. Welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed 2. Last time, well, we started the game. So this time, we're going to help Petruccio Auditore, Claudia Auditore, and Maria. What are you uh, doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise. And with this, we start the most annoying side quest ever. One I've never completed in this game. I've played it in Brotherhood, not complete in two. It's mostly because of how many there are. So, I usually <coughs> never complete it. Oh. I hate these awkward moments. Should you come? I'll have your blood now. You just going? Out with you! Avanti, Mistai Onayando. Damn it! I'll hack you to bits. Vogliamo aprire le danze. You won't let go. Bronzo, very good. The local art is dying. Only fast will soon speak. That should feel better. Here, as promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will. In time. Oh, I will say the reward is great. Well, the rewards aren't great. Hey, Claudia, how are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. <sighs> it's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. Wait here. I'll go have a word with him. Beat a shit. Something that I wish a lot of people could do. Guardate che tagli di mano! Cheers! Vaint. The kind of people that are. <coughs> Alright, let's just get that <laughs> viewpoint though. Yeah. If it allows me to do certain viewpoints that they tell you there, you can't actually do anything with.
So, we've got only one more viewpoint that we're going to run into as a regular. <coughs> May this year's festival of San Giovanni be a time of great joy and pride in our great city. <laughs> Don't be shy. I only aim to heal. Now let's just climb this. Because this will help us get close to that building there. And this is actually the best time to actually get this viewpoint because this viewpoint is hell otherwise. It's not the worst viewpoint in the series, but I would say it's one of them. It's also very tedious. Also, warning for those who have vertigo, and even games can't help with some vertigo, so you might want well look away. I'll tell you when you come back. Inside, we will, I'll warn you. I uh, don't think we can climb back up, can we? Oh no, we can. I do well get that chest because that chest here <coughs> will come harder, come harder to obtain later. Even if it's for little money, it'll add up. Especially later when we get to one of the gimmicks in this game that got expanded in later games. Warning? Definitely. Because this is a big tower. And this is going to be quite a rock. Ali. Ali. You can look now. And before we deal with. A Jew! There! You. There! Get him! Oh, vergogna! Sbrigati! Get him! Vergogna! Aspetti il permesso Curse del capitano. Ha intenzione di startene l'impalato? Huh? I've done nothing to you! You have. You tried to start a fight. Idiota. Shame! <gasps> Duccio! It's a beautiful. Nothing but the best for you, amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. The father said I could do much better than an auditore. Ah, Birbante! Come, let us walk a bit. What? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Oh, Duccio. Mm. Hey, Lurido Porco! Ezio, my friend! Ah! Ma che ti figlia! You insult my sister, parading around with this puttana. W what are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her, or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtu. You broke her heart. Ha! <laughs> and now I'm going to break your face. You auditore is all talk me, but when it comes time for action, Ha! You're a crap ever Bastard. opening your mouth! Stay away from my sister! I'm not going to let you get away, because I find it more satisfying to beat you up more. I don't let this guy go away for a while.
until he's even knocked out. Oh. Okay. Now let's just check the pockets for the measly three Oh, can't pick him up. Oh, dang, it must be the late one of the later games. I usually like picking them up and throwing them into the water or into a bit of heat. Sadly, I can't find the woman who she was flirting with. Best thing I can do throw money at. No one's of course, if I had twice as much as the LP, I probably would have done worse. Since now that I think about it, I could just sing to one of these or literally grab him and drag him about town. But don't you all become a bit of a rocking gag in the series where you can just beat him up? But he's also not that horror of Rev. And Revelations is an achievement. And even if it wasn't an achievement, I'm quite sure people would still want to beat him up. Duccio is scum. He is scum. Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here. Friend of the family. And we get to meet the best character in this game other than Ezio. I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? Per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You've nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. Thanks to nothing. Granted, the two hide things. We can get this on the way back, thankfully. Here we are. Prepare to meet the second best character in this game, in the series. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto honorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Mother. Back to your house then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? Salute, come sta? So, Ezio, what do you do? He's been working for his father. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, aren't, was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice. But I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo. 
I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. Yeah, we get Leonardo da Vinci. Do not speak ill of him, and if we miss a certain quick time event, I will reload my save. No, I'm not kidding. I will reload a save to make sure. Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anch'io. And they will. They will. Ezio, come in, son. I need these packages delivered to associates of mine in the city. I also need you to retrieve a message for me from a pigeon coop not too far from here. Va bene. I'll get it done. Come back here when you're finished. There are some things we need to discuss. And please, my son, stay out of trouble. Hmm? Special delivery. We'll take the errand first to the closest. <laughs> I wanted to show that because I love that they had that attention to detail of Yeah no Want to read this letter? No, you don't get to. It's the only letter that does that in the series, so Giovanni's kid? No, idiota. He just happens to look exactly like the man. Give it here. Don't worry, boy. We're not contagious. At least I'm not. Or is this the one word I say you can get, but you can't? Our room! Letting off a little steam, are we? <laughs> oh, this might be the one verse they say you can get, but you can't. No, it's not. There is one viewpoint that is annoying, because the game says you can collect it. I don't know which game it's from, I don't know if it's in this game or not, but I do know it's a thing, and it's annoying. I'm sure I have just what you need, somewhere in the back, perhaps. We have no use for weapons, and even if we did, we can't do anything with it, with the armor yet. And we don't want to do anything with the armory until we get to a certain point in the story. <laughs> that would have done some damage. But hey. Delivery from Giovanni Adatore? Yes. Were you followed? No. Why would I be followed? Give me the package. Tell your father that they're moving tonight. He should as well. Who's moving? What's going on here? Wait! Come back! Explain yourself! Foreshadowing. <laughs> well, 
a say foreshadowing, but foreshadowing must be like probably <coughs> tell what's going to happen. The game has been kind of <coughs> playing fake. We've learned something. Things are happening. Got a lot of money. <laughs> Cup round. Father? Federico. Serezio, thank God. What happened? Where is everyone? They took your father and brothers to the Palazzo della Signoria, to prison. And my mother, my sister. Ezio. Claudia. Are you all right? Yes, but mother... She's in shock. They... When she resisted... It's not safe here. Is there some place you can take them? Yes, yes, to my sisters. Good, do that. In the meantime, I'll go see my father. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you as well. That's where we're going. That's why I'm excited to get that vehicle. The citizens of Pisa have hailed them. I shouldn't have been able to do that, but like I'm not going to complain. Okay, we're at the edge. Watch out for the guards, because we will, because we're in a restricted area, we will be caught will be spotted quite quickly. Let's see who get down. Granted. Pazzo. There he is, Pazzo! You think you can outrun? No, I don't think I can outrun you. That's why I threw you off. I want to do that for whenever the guards use the ledge, because right now we don't have a weapon to defend ourselves. No point trying to 
defend, defend against attacks that we literally cannot defend against. Ooh. We'll avoid that point right now. Sorry, Father. But we need to hit that viewpoint. And once we hit that viewpoint, we'll come back down. Because if we hit that viewpoint, we'll just be knocked back down. Because, understandably, we wouldn't want to be caught. Plus, oh no, it's not. I'm thinking of a different tower, but it has a top that's like this. Possibly even in a different game now that I think about it. And there's <coughs> not an icon. We do want to check that icon icon out. Cause... Ezio! Father! What's happened? Took a bit of a beating, but I'm alright. What of your mother and sister? Safe now. Aneta took them. Yes. Wait. You knew this would happen? Not the way it did, and not this soon. Doesn't matter now. What do you mean? Explain! There's no time. Listen closely. Return to the house. In my office is a hidden door. Use your talent to find it. Beyond lies a chest. Take everything you find inside. Much of it may seem strange to you, but all of it is important. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Among the contents is a letter, and with it some documents. I need you to take these documents to Mr. Roberto. He was with me in the office this morning. The Gonfalonieri, I remember. Now please, tell me what's happening. Are the Pazzi behind this? There was a note for you at the pigeon. It said, go, Ezio. Go now. And we're heading back to the El Torre Villa. Oh, dearie. Meet the lady friend. Cazzo! Down with you! Non ce la fai a col... È un duello! We knock them out. Run here. We want to open this. These are part of beaten game. Codex pages. Get to talking about them more later. If we can find a Tordic page, we need to find we need to collect it as much as we can. They are very this week's public mass with the cardinal will have to be cancelled due to a small outbreak of plague. Pray for his recovery and the confinement of the Just uh, get out of your way. Accept my apologies, good sir. Now let's run in. Number one, and all the time. Get to be in Aldatore Villa. Truly. Hmm. Who said there was a door here?
I need to bring this to Messer Roberto. Giovanni Antori. Right. And now we can select a sword. Uh oh. Traditore! Hey! What with the swords? Aren't you supposed to arrest me? No! What do you want then? For you to die! And we finally get a proper piece of combat, which is not great. We don't have all All things for combat yet. So, combat's gonna feel dull. Really, really. Ezio Auditore? What are you doing here at this hour? It... I, I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah. I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything up. How? The documents you've given me contain evidence of a conspiracy against your family and against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning, and they'll be released. Thank you, Signore. Of course, my child. Do you need a place to stay? You're more than welcome here. No, grazie. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. As you probably guess, from there being a Just very, a Visconti, a very suspicious man before. Where? Things are not going to be fine. Come see what pride, beauty, and years of experience. Now, there's something in. Really I may be a bit disorganized, but I do know my smith. I'm actually going to do this mid last mission and end the episode because it makes sense to do this. Last mission. I brought back from the marshlands of the Indies will heal almost any ear and leave you feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. Giovanni Auditore! You and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. He's lying! I need to get closer. In the absence of any compelling evidence to the contrary, I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You and your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. You are a traitor, Roberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return. I swear we will! Father! Hey! Grab the boy! He's one of them! I'll kill you for what you've done! Guards! Arrest him! Abba Tetel. Better run, boy. Fast. 
Yeah, they're not kidding. Well, you can try and like fight them. That's stupid. I'm getting it. You can technically kill these guys. Those guys. At this point. It's tedious. Not a good idea. But you can beat them. Instead, you want to run. I cannot stop. Move. End off this episode. I've got a little request for you. I've identified several strange markings that I've discovered right across Renaissance Italy. Now, I don't know what they're doing there, but I want you to help me find out. Rebecca has marked their general location in the database with an eye icon, and she's made them glow as well. Keep an eye out. Serezio, thank God. I've been looking everywhere for you. I, I couldn't stop them, Annetta. I tried, I swear. But there were so many guards. Please, come with me. We need to get you off the streets. What if my mother and sister... They're safe. I'll bring you to them. No, it's too dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house, just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way. And we are notorious. We'll head there next time. So, next time? Well, we'll try and figure out this mess and hopefully find a weapon to fight people off with. This is Zeno and Zima, signing out.